In this video, I'm gonna show you a little mini scheme that I believe makes up the best couple of running types of offenses in Madden 22. What is going on guys, my name is Cody and I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, I wanna encourage you to hit the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the YouTube channel. Now, if you're new to the channel, I want to let you know that I'm in the Seattle Seahawks playbook. We're going to be talking about the pistol ace and the deuce close here in just a second. But before we do, I want to let you know about my text message membership. It's a way that you can get Madden 22 offensive and defensive ebooks completely for free or Madden 22 offensive and defensive guides completely for free. And the way that you do that is just by texting me. Text the word Madden to my cell phone number, which is 208-218-6900. Again, that is 218, or I'm sorry, 208 218 6900. I've got a picture of that number at the left of the screen. I've also got that down in the description. So text the word Madden if you want to get those free schemes. We release new guides every single Friday um, throughout the course of the Madden 22 season. Okay, guys, so I'm really excited to bring this to you. This is a pistol ace mini scheme I've been working on. And basically, what we're going to do from an audible perspective, we're just going to set some audibles real quick. And you're going to see here that I'm going to put the PA or the halfback stretch on my audibles. I'm also going to put the read option in my audibles. And then I'm going to put the PA boot uh, in my audibles. My base play that I like to come out in every single time is the strong power. And then real quick little pro tip that you can do with this is you can also combine this with the deuce close. So we've got the stretch, the wham, the bench, and the PA boot slide. If you don't want to put the PA boot slide in there, then you can obviously put the PA cross uh, if you wanted to put that in there as well. Those are both very viable options. I'm going to probably put the PA cross in there and then we're going to roll with that. The reason I like this scheme so much is because Number one, Seattle has a lot of really good gun ace sets. I could come out and gun ace wing slot offset or ace offset, both really good plays. But what I love about this pistol ace is how good this uh, strong power really is this year. So we're just gonna break this down against kind of the meta defense in Madden 22, which is a 3-5 wide. Um, and this is pistol ace strong power. Uh, and I want you just to watch the blocking because this is, and this was very similar to Madden, uh, Madden 25 and Madden 15 was how good this, this this play really was. And the reason why was because because it was a little bit slower paced game, the blocks were able to develop a lot better. Okay, so all we're gonna do is we're just gonna run this to the weak side. So I'm gonna flip the play. And as you see right here, we're just gonna get this nice little seal block and we're gonna be able to get easy yardage against literally any defense in the game. Same thing to the right side here. Uh, you see here the pursuit angles are so bad in this game it's really hard to stop the run already and when you put this uh, strong power where we've got two pulling guards getting out there it's really hard as you saw right there they were actually able to get a stop on me um, that's going to be a rarity especially if you run this to the, the weak side of the field you're going to see you're going to consistently just hit this thing for about 30 to 15 15 to 30 yards a pop every single time. And so what your opponent's gonna start doing is they're gonna start widening out their defense. And if they do that, then you're just gonna check down to the read option and hit them right down the middle. The other thing that I like about this is we can actually um, attach a stretch to this. So if you start to get a lot of blitzes, you could hit them with the stretch. And as you see here, the stretch is no slouched either. It's a really good running scheme as well. So I can run stretch and I can also run the power O. One of my favorite little pro uh, tips here out of running this power O or strong power is to basically flip the play so it's going to the left and then just motion the circle receiver to the left and it's gonna give me a little bit of a numbers advantage just like so and I'm able to continue to run my favorite run in the game. Another little pro tip is off of that what I like to do is I like to basically flip that read option so the read option is going backside and so now that we're gonna do is we're just gonna isolate that read option and oftentimes, and right there I made the bad read, but I'm either gonna, you know, obviously keep that with the quarterback or hand it off. Suffice that to say, guys, this strong power is really good this year. It's been getting better year by year, and in Madden 22 Next Gen, um, if you wanna have some fun, I'm telling you, this strong power, especially to this weak side, and then you can get in the open field and you can do, this year more than ever, I think you're gonna need the ball carrier moves to kind of get some separation. But what you'll see here is, you know, you can do these double jukes, you can do the spins, you can, those are all things that you're able to do with this strong power run. 
The other thing that I really like about this is we can also attach a play action off this. So as you see here, I can go to the play action boot. One of my favorite little things to do out of this is just simply hit my drag or my crosser, just like that. A little simple crossing route, really easy. Another little thing that you can do out of the play PA boot that I like is to drag the play side or the backside tight end. So you got two drags basically, and then you have a dig that, you know, just simple spacing you know, is really all we're trying to do with this. And then we also have this play corner post, which I'm not gonna spend a ton of time on, at least in this video, but this is a really good play. And real quick pro tip, if you're running ace, make sure that you are using these five yard out routes. They're so good against man and they're so good against match. All the while, while we're all doing all of this stuff, we can always check back down into our single back deuce close and look how quick of a transition that is. We're riding the single back deuce close and now we're running the best play in the game in my opinion, at least right now, and that is the bench concept out of the single back deuce close. We can roll out, we can do all kinds of things with this. And then also, what we can also do off of this is again, if you want a little bit more of an inside running threat, you've got the halfback wham in your audibles. So you come down, you can run wham on both sides. To me, this is the best three-headed rushing attack in Madden 22 right now. And please hear me loud and clear what I say. The strong power is really, really good. As you can see right here, it's hard to stop this run. Um, it's not something that you can really use or shoot because you have the pulling guard to kind of pick up any user rush. And if you're patient with this run and you follow your blockers, you're gonna have so much success with this run. So I wanna thank you for watching this video. If you've not checked out the Seattle playbook, I would highly encourage it. I think Seattle's got at least if you're going to be a bunch runner or if you want to run any of this ace stuff, I think that the, the Seattle playbook is really, really effective. Uh, this strong power, like I said, is really good. And look at how just how clean the blocking is. I mean, it just eats 335 wide alive. It'll beat anything, too. Like, if I were to go to 335 Will, you're going to see the same basic result. It doesn't matter the defense that you're going to be. As long as you're pace, patient, and that right there was an example of me not being patient. But as long as as long as you're patient with your blockers, you're gonna be good. So you see here three to my will again, and now you see you know, automatic five to ten yards. So thanks for watching this video. I hope this was helpful. Uh, I think that really, if you're gonna be incorporating the run into your scheme, I don't normally like to run the ball, but I love running this scheme. This scheme is a lot of fun. It's really hard to stop, and the thing that's really cool about it is you can put in yourself in a position where you know what you're not really uh as susceptible to turning the football over you know and if they give you the middle out of strong power i like that it's that kind of run that you can cut back uh, whereas the the stretch in my opinion you're not going to be able to cut that back as much if they give it to you i mean you can cut it back some but not as much so anyways that is the ace running scheme so you got the strong power you got the read option you got the stretch and then you got some play action plays and then if you wanted to add some more stuff, you certainly could to these two formations, but really the formation I want really I really want you to see that's really good is this single back deuce close. You can run the stretch out of this, and then you can also run that halfback wham, and you get the play action off of it. So thanks for watching this video. If you wanna learn more about this, these uh, Seattle Seahawks offensive playbook, or you wanna learn, or you wanna get my Madden 22 offenses and defenses in my text message membership, uh, completely for free. All you got to do is text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. The information for that is also in the description of this video. And again, if you want to get this, text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. And we'll start shooting you guys the links to the text message membership playlist.